be making basics. All right, y'all. So in this lecture, we're going to talk about EQing. OK, um, really what EQing is and why it's important and how it's going to affect your track. OK, now all EQing stands for is equalization. OK, um, when it when it comes to EQing, what that means is you're going to equalize or balance out the various frequencies of different instruments. So if you look right here, different instruments sit at different frequencies within uh, the frequency range. OK, and humans hear from anywhere from 20 K. Uh, 20, 20 hertz, which is the super low in bassy sounds all the way to 20,000, uh, you know, K. OK, uh, hertz. OK, so these are the super high end sounds. All right. Our high pitch sounds. And this is the human hearing range. OK, so different instruments sit on the, the, the in this in this frequency range. OK. And so when it comes to EQing, what you're going to be doing is balancing out those frequencies. So just like we balanced out the actual levels or dynamic levels, the decibels, OK, the loudness, we're also going to balance out the frequencies because, you know, what I'm saying, say if you have, you know, some low end sounds like your subs, your basses, and then you have your kick, those frequencies can kind of tend to clash or collide together. And so there's certain techniques that you could you do when it comes to equalization to make sure they work well together. Same thing with um, some of these other instruments. Um, OK, it depending on how you balance out the frequencies means that they'll they'll work better. OK, um, some of the uses of EQing are going to be to make certain instruments a little bit more clear. OK, in the mix. All right. So there might be certain you might have the proper levels, but there might be still some instruments that are hiding in the mix. And you'll use EQing to to basically brighten those up or, or make those stand out. All right. Now, there's two ty different types of EQing. The first type is additive, what they call additive, which is where you're going to add, uh, you know, frequencies. OK, or boost the frequencies. All right. And then the second which is actually the most prevalent way to EQ is going to be something called subtractive. OK, and this is where you're going to take away certain frequencies. OK, you, you hear about people doing low pass filters, high pass filters and different things like that is where they're taking away certain frequencies, maybe certain low end or high end frequencies to create uh, a certain effect or sound. OK. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now that a lot of things that are done in um, mixing goes by this rule, which is less is more, which means that you're not necessarily adding a whole lot. Sometimes you're taking away. So I wanted to basically explain frequencies, how they worked and what they are and EQing in this lecture so that when we actually get into the actually EQing of everything, you kind of understand where I'm coming from again. Different instruments have different frequencies. So you have like kick and your subs and your 808s and even some lower end, um, you know, what I'm saying melody instruments are going to be sitting like maybe 500 um, hertz and below. And then you have some mid range frequencies, you know, what I'm saying some of your snares. OK, you're going to see some of your snares are, are, are going to hit right here. Some of your lead instruments are going to hit right here. Some of your, um, you know synth instruments are going to hit right here maybe 500 hertz um to maybe 2k okay and then you're going to have hi hats which are probably going to sit around like that 5k round your hi hats your percussions you know what i'm saying crashes different things of that nature even some of your pads might sit around like 2k to 5k but the main thing is not necessarily all about memorizing okay if i boost it right here at this frequency whatever it's all about what you hear and you know what I'm saying? Using your ears to make that judgment call with your mix. And we're going to get into that in the lectures to come. Thanks for watching.